the previous videos, I mentioned that building a pop-up requires an empty state. So we could do that all from scratch, but I've got something even better for you. In the In5 menu, if you go down to Build Wizards, you'll find there is a pop-up builder. This dialog lets you select some styling options, like I can make the user interface of the pop-up light or dark. So in the dialog box menu, I can make my dialog small, large, or have no dialog box, so really I just have the overlay and the close button, and I can put any content there I want without having the borders of a dialog box. I'll leave that on small, I'll leave all these as the default, and you can see that it will create drop shadows and round corners, which are typically time-consuming things to build by hand. You can of course turn them off if you don't want them, and it'll create object styles, so it makes it easy if you're creating multiple pop-ups. I'll show you that in a second. So I'll just click build it to create the pop-up, and there's a working pop-up. I've even got a close button here that works. If you go into the buttons and forms panels, you can see that it closes the pop-up by setting it to the empty state when clicked. Go into the object states panel. I'm just gonna hit the escape key until I get up to the level of the multi-state object, and you can see there's an empty state and a pop-up. So when we could change to the look of this, let's suppose I'm gonna build multiple pop-ups in my document, and I want these changes to ripple through. So maybe I want the pop-up box to be lighter. So I could go in here and just bring the tint down. Uh, maybe I'd just go all the way down to nothing, or maybe I'd make it paper. So with that selected, I'm gonna go into the object styles. You can see that there's now a plus sign, meaning there's an override. So if I redefine the style, it will update that. And now anything else I create will keep that color. And if I go into the components of the close button, and actually want to make that darker too now that I have a lighter dialog box. So I'll make that darker. And then I will just say redefine style. So that's there. And now I'm going to select the entire pop up and just delete it. And I'm going to show you how the styles have remained in the object styles panel. So when I go to build the pop-up again, again, leaving all the default settings as they are, I'll build it. It's been created, and now it keeps all of that styling that I built there. And this pop-up is already fully interactive. All I have to do is assign a button to trigger the pop-up state. So here's how it might look in the browser if uh, I created a pop-up and assigned the button to this. There's a pop-up coming up. So you can see the pop-up builder makes it super easy to build this kind of interactivity. Now you can put any kind of content in this pop-up or light box that you want, have it styled however you like. If you want to get deeper into this topic, there's a course on Ajar Academy on creating a video pop-up. The course is quick, but because this interactivity is so fast to create, we go pretty deep and then you can create a multi-video playlist like this as well. So check that out on Ajar Academy. In the next few videos, I'll show you the different options for building menus, and I think you'll want to stick around for that.